Hello and welcome to Cataclysm Quick Tip number 25, where we're going to discuss the auto pulp and butcher settings. So Cataclysm has a very large number of controls and you do a lot of key presses in the game. There are some built-in methods and options to try to cut down on the amount of micromanagement you have to do. One of those is the auto pulp and butcher settings. So. In this circumstance, we have a battlefield. We've recently killed a bunch of zombies in our local area, and since zombies resurrect after a period of time, we want to get rid of these bodies through either pulping or butchering. Either one will destroy the corpse well enough that it cannot reanimate. The important difference between the actions is pulping only takes eh, somewhat less than a minute to actually do. Butchering takes longer, but at low levels of survival skill will actually increase your survival skill. That only works up to the first couple of levels. After that, you won't get any more skill ups. Uh, but if you're very early, try butchering initially if you've got the free time available, as that will raise that survival skill. Uh, both methods, though, will destroy the body well enough that they will not resurrect. So. If you've got a large number of bodies and you don't want to be constantly smashing keys on your keyboard to go through and deal with them, here is an option to cut down on the micromanagement. If you go to your escape key to bring up the options menu, go to options, and in the very first tab, the general tab, right here, line 10 and 11 are the two we're going to look at. There is an auto pulp or butcher. Normally it is set to false or turned off. So, if you come to this option, you press enter to set it to true, then move down a line, you then have a few choices to set it to. So let's look at the details in this first line. It says, if true, enables auto-pulping, resurrecting corpses, or auto-butchering any corpse. Never pulps acidic corpses. Very important to realize, so it will not go around uh, pulping or smashing acid corpses, which sprays acid around and damages you. You'll just step on it or near it, and it'll leave it alone in that circumstance. This is disabled as long as any enemy monster is seen. So, it also will not engage if there are any enemy monsters in sight. But if you've got a clear field of battle, you've killed everything, you can use this automatically to save yourself some time and effort. Uh, but I just wanted to make sure you were aware that it will not take the time or roll time forward in those circumstances against either acid corpses or if there are any enemies in sight nearby. Um, so you won't get yourself into trouble by setting this to true. So if you have set it to true to try it out, then the next line down will read, says action to perform when the auto pulp or butcher is enabled. If you set it to pulp, it will pulp corpses you stand on only. If you set it to pulp adjacent, it will also pulp corpses adjacent from you. And finally, if you set it to butcher, it will butcher the corpses you stand on. Now, depending on what kind of things you're fighting, you might want to adjust this for that particular situation. As an example, if you're clearing an ant hill just for some food, you could probably set it to butcher only. You don't need to pulp those kinds of corpses. They're not zombies. They're not going to get back up again. Uh, so I would set it to butcher. But if you're in a mixed group or you're in a mainly zombie infested area, you probably want to leave it on pulping and then just manually butcher as needed. So, here's an example of how it works. I'm going to set this first to just the pulp option. We're going to save the changes as we exit, and we're going to step on this corpse to my left. So right now it is its normal condition. If I examine it, you can see it says zombie corpse, and that is something that will get up eventually. If I step on it without pressing anything else, it has automatically pulped it. I didn't have to smash it. I didn't have to do anything else. I'll do the same thing up here. I'll just walk on it, and it instantly smashes it. Now, it does take the normal amount of time uh, to smash it, to pulp it, and that's usually about 40 seconds, I believe, which is pretty reasonable. Butchering takes about five minutes, so only butcher when you need the items off of the corpse for some reason, and there are specific reasons why you would want to butcher. Um, and otherwise, pulping is just fine. Now let's switch that option. If we go back to the options menu, let's switch it to pulp adjacent. Save that change, and I'm going to kind of walk in between these corpses here. I'm not even going to step on one, I'm just going to walk right through the middle of that little area. And they're all now pulped. So it pulped, pulped, and pulped. So all three of them have been pulped, but just by walking near it didn't require any additional key presses on my part, just happened automatically because the conditions were met. There were no acid corpses, and there's no zombies in sight that might interrupt me or come try to get me while I was doing this action. And then finally, if we go to that option again, and we set it to Butcher, and save it. Now, I have to step on the corpses specifically, but 
You can see here that we just butchered. It notes the task is too simple to train your survival beyond five. That's actually, you can't really train it beyond about two, I think, uh, or three at the most. Uh, but we harvested some bones, some flesh, and so on. And it did it automatically with no further key presses on my part. And we can just keep walking on the bodies, and it just butchers as we go. Now it is taking time. You'll note here it's 11.29 and... 11.30 and 36. It should be 11.35.36. Oh, it took even longer. So it took uh, almost seven minutes to butcher that one. And there we go. That is the, the options for the auto pulp and butchering. They can save you some time in key presses. Just be aware of what you've got it set to. And if you think it can help you and cut down on your amount of key presses in the game, feel free to use it. Hope you found this information helpful. As always, let me know what you think in the comments below or via my Discord channel. If you have any ideas for future episodes, I'd love to hear them. I'm happy to create new episodes to help all the players out. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a great day. Bye-bye.